Well, welcome everyone to part eight. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I was going to try and get some more time to work on this, and I have. So picking right up where the last video left off and trying to start adding in some highlights. This one is sped up about twice the speed, so I found about uh, 20, 25 minutes to work on this. So I've sped it up here, and again, I'm going in and trying to uh, design some uh, texture, some, some layout and stuff for the these medallions. And doing kind of the similar things I've been doing is using the ink tool, using the marker tool, using the um, blending brush to kind of start uh, fading it all around because I do want these to be a little bit smoother metallic um, but I'm not overly worried about it being something you know again like I said these are backup singers this is for um, just added stuff I eye candy I guess is the best way to do it so again this is number eight in these steps and I am going to try and work on another one uh, very soon although I have some stuff scheduled for the next couple days so it may take um, another three or four days before I can jump back on here and, and make another one and get it uploaded so but I'm definitely going to keep pushing on this and get it to the finished position and I again I've really enjoyed doing this so far and I hope that you are uh, getting something out of it. I really, really do. So, so again, what I'm doing here is trying to find local color and then uh, change the, the value on it so I can get some uh, shadows and highlights and that kind of stuff and then smudge it out. And the smudging of it not only softens it, but it helps me find the other colors that I want to use. And because uh, then I'll start using the alt key, which picks up the color as you're moving around. So sometimes you'll see me pull up the uh, palette itself. And then other times you'll see me just do like that where I grab some of the local color and then from there started blending that out because it, it just matches. You know, you don't have to try and match it. It already matches it. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. And, and again, these are just random shapes. You know, it's just random shapes set in there to uh, start giving it some depth. And it's interesting too, if you look at that, you know, that looks like a yellow or, or um, black or something like that. But if you were to select that color, it's almost a green color because uh, yellow and black tend to make a green, both in real world and in Rebel. So. so again, trying to crisp up some of the edges and give it a, a nice distinct look. The fun part uh, was actually here a little bit when I tried to do the other one to match. <laughs> so that's always the challenge is you do one. It's like, okay, now how do I get the other one to at least resemble it? And that's why I really need to be better about working on each one at the same time. So, and also the angle's different, you know, so I have to kind of take that into consideration when I'm doing something. So here we go, setting in the highlights. Um, looking back and forth constantly at what I've done over there to try and see if I can get that to start matching it. So the mid-tone is there with that yellowish gold color and then from there I'm just and the same with the red and then I just start looking for darker colors that I can blend in and blend out to really start giving me the palette that I need, the natural palette. So what are your guys' thoughts? What do you think of it so far? Let me know. Uh, give me some feedback. Tell me how you think. Uh, share with me what you've been working on. I want to really want to see uh, what you're doing. Several people have said that they are doing things. They This has inspired them to do something, so I want to see it. I want to know what you're doing. And, and you know, if you want some feedback, more than happy to give it. Um, I do... For that, I mostly suggest coming over to the Facebook group that I have because it's a little bit more intimate place to give feedback. Um, but if you need some, you want some, just you know, come on over and, and let everybody in there know. Everybody's a real friendly group. There's um, you know, no harsh criticisms and stuff allowed. Uh, it's all constructive. 
So um, all you have to do is just come over there and, and let us know that you want uh, feedback. So, and we're happy to do it. By the way, if you do come to that group and you want to join it, I do have three questions set up on there. Those are absolutely mandatory to be filled out. If you don't fill them out, I decline your request. Uh, it's the only way I know to keep people out that are trying to spam the group and to keep the group clean. So um, if you're truly interested in joining it, it's just three simple questions. Fill those out and prove that you're a real person and then you know abide by them in the group and just keep the conversations friendly and helpful because that's what we're all trying to go with. I don't know why, but as I'm sitting here watching this, as I go back over it, I wasn't so much thinking about it while I was doing it, but it's like an abstract squid <laughs> design there, um, or a duck. Anyway, now you're never going to unsee that. Crap. All right, but, you know, I can't help it. That's the way my brain works, and I've been up since 2.30. Um, so again, laying it in there, softening it out, blending it, and it gives you that really quick edged and raised uh, look. So... So what's your biggest challenge that you're facing with what you're working on? I was starting to have some lag issues here for some reason. I'm not sure why. I updated my system recently and then I think some of those updates are giving me a little bit of lag. I'm always trying to remember those uh, highlights and shadows, highlights and shadows. trying to remember to constantly go back and forth and, and tweak it so that each one matches. So I realized that the color I had here for my darks was a little bit more on the brown side than I had for the other side for whatever reason. I think it's because I had still had some of the red and that's kind of where it came from. So I was like, well, I kind of like it. So let me grab some of that from the uh, other one and put it over here. See, there goes some of that lagging. I don't know why it was lagging so bad. But I did restart, and it's fine now, so I guess something was just maybe stuck in the memory. I don't know. So again, just uh, trying to refine it, trying to get it laid out how I want and tr not trying for perfection. You know, I could sit here and try to make these uh, medallions perfect, but, you know, I got to think about that too. It's like, you know, these don't need to be perfect because if this was a true warrior and this was something he wore as regalia into battle and, and that kind of stuff, like a, uh, you know, like a leader might in, a, in an army then it's not going to be perfect. You know, it's going to be a little um, beat up and smashed around. So that's kind of the way this is. So uh, again, reaching towards the end of it, I hope this part has helped to kind of show you how to do some raised metal and, and how to start blending it in so it looks like it's there and, and really uh, refining it ever so much so that your painting is starting to keep coming together. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comments. If you uh, need help with something, you want a feedback on something, come on over to the Facebook group and join us there. But other than that, I really appreciate your time, appreciate you watching it, and all the feedback and comments. So until next time, have a great rest of the day. Thanks. <music>